Today we'll be discussing rational use cases for armor, and the types of armor that best fit a particular scenario. The four primary rational use cases for armor are as follows. Overt combat, range use, threat area, and everyday concealment. Overt combat. This is when a gunfight is expected. The user wears overt rifle rated armor, and openly carries a firearm, intending to contest and win, said expected gunfight. This is the use case of a soldier, not that of a civilian. Level 3 plus or 4 are best for this scenario, as they provide sufficient protection for multiple hits from both rifle and pistol threats. Level 3 plus may be preferred, as 30-06 AP is not a common rifle threat. Level 3 plus will be lighter and thinner than level 4, providing better mobility and less strain on the wear, and therefore potentially more performant in combat. However, not all 3 plus armor protects against 5.56 M855 AP rounds. Ensure you are aware of your armor's capabilities before committing to its use in life-threatening scenarios. Range usage. On uncontrolled ranges, such as on government land, or at competitions where athleticism is mixed with loaded firearms, the user wears overt armor intended to protect them from stray shots, ricochets, and negligent discharges. The user may choose to wear covert armor, but overt armor is likely best as rifle threats may be present. Concealability is not a concern, because any other individual there should be understanding of your concerns for stray shots and ricochets. If anyone gives you shit, they're just plain stupid. Level 3 plus or 4 are best for this scenario, as they are rated for rifle threats, and concealment is not a concern. Level 3 plus would likely be preferred due to decreased weight being more comfortable. Level 3 and 3A may be used at the user's discretion, if they are comfortable with a reduced level of protection. Threat Area This is when the user is going to an event or location where an overt gunfight is not expected, but there is a noted risk of either an overt, openly carried rifles, etc., or covert, concealed handguns, attack. This could be a protest, a political rally, a drag show, or religious services. Concealment is a priority here, unless the user plans to specifically serve as formal security. Overt security should only be done when the user has the proper licensing and permissions from the event organizers or location owners. Otherwise, you pose a massive legal risk to both yourself and the organizers slash owners. Furthermore, overt armor wear should only be done when paired with overt carry of a firearm. If this firearm is a handgun, utilize a level 3 retention holster at minimum, to prevent any assailants from stealing your gun. If this firearm is a rifle, you must keep positive control of the weapon at all times. Overt wear of armor should always be paired with overt carry of a weapon. Wearing overt armor communicates to any potential assailants that you are a hard target, likely someone willing to put up a fight, but it also communicates that you have strong and weak areas. Rather than targeting your chest, they can instead target your head and kill you instantly, or target your pelvis, causing ephemeral hemorrhage in an area that can be treated by a tourniquet, as well as bone breakage, and total loss of mobility. Furthermore, your armor has a threat rating, and cannot withstand all threats. A hit stopped by your armor may still break your ribs and knock the wind out of you. This is not a video game, you are not an action hero, you are still very much vulnerable to pain. If the assailant wants to attack a crowd, now they know they should focus on the hard targets first, to ensure they have an easier time killing the rest without much resistance. Your overt wear of armor communicates that with them. And lack of a weapon shows that you cannot meaningfully resist when you are targeted. This goes the other way as well. If you intend to carry an overt weapon as a show of force, you should also wear armor. By openly carrying a weapon you draw attention to yourself as a potential source of resistance to an assailant, and without armor, you will have much lower survivability. Bottom line. Overt weapons carry and overt armor wear go hand in hand. Circling back, when concealment is not a concern and you have committed to overt wear and carry, level 3 plus and possibly 4 plates are preferable in this scenario, for the reasons suggested in scenario 1, overt combat. 3A soft armor is the best option by far for this scenario, as concealment is a priority. Weather permitting, you may be able to conceal hard level 3 or 3 plus plates under a jacket, with a concealability focused plate carrier. However concealing hard plates in general is a difficult task. Level 4 plates are extremely difficult to conceal and impractical for this use case, even with specialized equipment like the Cryal VM bath. Please do not try to conceal plates unless it's jacket weather, and you're wearing a heavy jacket, you stick out like a sore thumb, and everyone can tell you're wearing plates. Concealing a handgun may also be advantageous when concealing armor in this scenario, as if a threat does arise, you will be able to respond to it, without being the first target of the threat. Everyday Concealment Certain individuals may find themselves at high risk of attack for one reason or another. This is not something the average person faces, this is for highly visible targeted individuals. Generally speaking, these individuals will face the constant potential of an attack from an assailant concealing a handgun. Therefore, the constant wear of concealed handgun rated armor is a necessity. Level 3A soft armor is the best for this scenario. 
Not only is it concealable, but it is significantly less weather dependent than plates, and more comfortable for everyday wear. It may be advantageous to carry a concealed pistol, so you are able to respond if a threat does arise, or if a threat shoots you, but does not defeat your armor. If you find yourself operating outside of one of these use cases, or attempting to wear an excessively high level of armor for a scenario, reconsider your threat analysis, and whether you may be able to remain safe by just staying at home. For nearly all scenarios where armor is practical, the safest solution is to just not put yourself into a scenario where armor may be necessary.